Our core product with uh, DTS is HD rating, rolled out through every automaker in North America. The automotive industry has changed drastically throughout the years. No longer are cars just about getting from point A to point B. Now it's about the technology inside the cars. How does it make your driving experience better? How is it smarter? How is it getting you to point B in a better way? So today we're at the DTS booth to look at a concept Karma car that uses many DTS technologies. One being facial recognition to unlock the car. And I've got Tim Tenniswood, the Senior Director of Automotive Sales, waiting for me inside to show me what this in-cabin technology could look like in the future. Shall we go to the future? We shall. Tell me more about what I'm seeing on the screen right now. We're recognizing you with facial recognition so we can personalize the vehicle to you. We can welcome you by name. We can set your seat position, set up the radio, maybe set your favorite colors with interior lighting. Uh, in the world of car sharing, it's important. Uh, maybe you don't own a car and you're just getting into new cars all the time. We recognize your face and now every car feels like your car. So this is what's called in-cabin monitoring. Yeah, uh, which includes driver monitoring solutions as well as occupant monitoring. And we also are using it to track your head for some electronic rear view mirror placements. So in-cabin monitoring encompasses all of those things. Uh, the first camera is you know, driver monitoring. So that's looking directly at you to make sure that you're driving safely and keeping you safe on the road. That camera is also able to detect what you're doing. So if you're eating or drinking, or talking on a cell phone, smoking, maybe we can give you alert to say, uh, you know, you can't smoke in the car, or no eating in my car because you know you're sharing this car with someone else. So DTS provides a technology to monitor and to keep track of what the driver is doing, as well as passengers. And it's Absolutely. up to the car, the manufacturer, to say, well, this is what if A then B. Yes, we give you lots of information. How you implement it is completely up to them. We're an algorithm provider, so we're not even the hardware provider. Um, so you can bring whatever hardware you need. We'll port to those cameras, that processor, to make it happen for you. Uh, very cool. Yes, this is a this is using the occupant monitoring camera as well. Uh, we're now we're detecting every passenger in the vehicle. As you can see, we've detected you're an adult, female. Uh, when it's green, you're happy for detecting your emotions. We're also seeing other people in the vehicle. So we can say, oh, there's a child in the back seat and provide alerts if someone gets out. You say, you know, there's still a child left behind. Uh, also finding fun ways that we can do things with emotions. You know, maybe you change music or you can recommend things based on people's moods that day. You're sad, uh, here's a station that you can listen to to brighten your spirits. What about us really complicated people? I may be smiling, but I'm actually crying inside. Well, we aren't psychologists, but we do our best. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I know DTS provides the imaging technology. What about the audio technology? Our core product with uh, DTS is HD radios. HD radio gives you better sound quality, more choices, free to the user, and it's rolled out through every automaker in North America. We've taken that taken radio global with what we call DTS connected radio. So connected radio allows you to add metadata to any radio station you're listening to across the world. Uh, give you these cool displays now where if you tell us where your car is at, we're sending down uh, metadata that's album art, artist and song title information. It just automatically downloads? Yes, this is all happens in the background. Uh, very easy to use, very easy to implement. It also gives you a station list. So now I can see, here's all of the stations in the market, oh, yeah. what, and even the content that's being played on those stations. Here we go, we can look and see, uh, here's the Pesh mode. And now we're seeing album art assigned with that. So it's kind of like using your cable TV, you can see what stations, or what's being played on your favorite stations. So this really redefines the whole radio experience. It really does. Now you have, you know what's playing on other stations, you can get recommendations on your content. And now even, as you know, I'm a big fan of Depeche Mode, I can look and see if there's any tickets for Depeche Mode in the local area. I guess they're not in town today, but uh, we, can, uh, we can grab some other examples where there's lots of concerts, we can get concert information, buy tickets. Oh, wow. Uh, so this is a country station, so now I see Keith Urban, and I can go right in there and see what tickets are available. And what is this connected to? What data? We use very uh, low bit rates, um, back channel, back to the internet. So we're very conscious of, of data usage. So for the consumer, it's using their data off uh, their phone? Could use an embedded uh, vehicle modem as well. 
and the uh, automakers are very concerned about how much data you use. So we've set up everything we can to be low data use. It's really great. We are strong supporters of broadcast radio, so we have very strong support from them. So we're getting information directly from broadcasters as well as aggregators and industry groups. But as a consumer, I would ask, how much is it for a subscription? That's the great part. This is all free to you, just like free broadcast over the air radio. And this is all free and you get these new enhancements uh, for the lifetime of the vehicle with no subscription. So with all this technology, I feel like I can just sit in my car and the only thing I can focus on is just being safe and staying on the road. You know, and if the car is taking care of itself, then you might as well, you could watch movies <laughs> with uh, some DTS surround sounds. So we have partners in the like streaming video space. As you know, DTS, we've done surround sound for years. So now streaming or brought in movies can play in 5.1 surround sounds. Uh, cars driving itself, or maybe you're sitting at a charging station, and now we can really entertain you in every aspect. Now where's the popcorn machine? It's in the front. <laughs> that's the one thing DTS is missing, is a popcorn machine. I think you're right, that's the only thing that's missing. I love it, this is fantastic. It really is the future of entertainment inside the vehicle. We sure hope so. Yeah, connected cars, this is the future, guys. It's no longer your grandma's car. Thank you so much, Tim. Yeah, thank you.